All right, Rob, we just had breaking news. We, you know, we've been waiting. We thought this was going to be the summer or the off season of quarterback signings. We've had Lamar Jackson and now, of course, uh, Justin Herbert. We, Joe Burrow's another one that we're expecting to get a contract. But Justin Herbert just signs. Rob G, well, we'll toss to Brian Finley. For the, uh, Breaking news from Fox Sports. Yeah, guys, Justin Herbert has mentioned we were wondering when that contract extension was going to come. It has just arrived, according to NFL Network, Ian Rappaport and Mike Garofolo. Five years, $262.5 million. That now puts him under contract in Los Angeles for seven years. Two more years left on the rookie deal, and then the five years added off the new contract. So, Rob and Chris, he is going to be doing... Uh, I don't know, swimming in pools of cash. Yeah. Uh, well put. Not really, but still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, Brian, remember that. You know, I mean, wow. you know, I expect a lot from B-Fin. I time. mean, I expect more than swimming in pools of cash. Daddy. All right? I'm just keeping it real. Uh, he's the loquacious one for a reason. So, uh, you know, that wasn't bad, but... Wasn't awesome. Wasn't your best work. How about that, B. Finn? Oh, we'll, we'll improve for the bottom of the hour. Okay, okay. Um, B. Finn, anything on the guaranteed money? That, of course, is always a huge deal. Yeah, still waiting to hear on the dollar amount on the guaranteed money. But this makes him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. Biggest contract, right? Yep. Biggest contract ever. Okay. Um, I, look, he's a great young quarterback. Uh, it's time to start winning. It's time to start winning for sure. Did they get uh, a new he's coach? played in one playoff oh, game. Well, they got Kellen Moore, who's going to be the offensive coordinator. So that we theoretically should help because you're right. You and I both, uh, Brandon Staley, we're not the biggest fans, but I think with Kellen Moore as the OC, it should be better. But I, I, Rob, I got no problem with it. I'm not hung up on oh highest pay. It, it, every quarterback that's going to be signed, essentially, that's that's really good, is going to end up being the highest paid quarterback we saw it in the nba jalen brown now the highest paid player in nba history that'll last not that long somebody will come up in short order and pass him up so it is what it is i'm not hung up on that i think the chargers have a franchise quarterback in justin herbert and they signed him up so i'm cool with it you got any issues with it nope there's nothing there to me i mean that's just the nature of the beast and uh, the money that's involved in the leagues now, that's just what it is. There's nothing – There's nothing. one like uh, the other quarterbacks are making $9 million and then they paid him that kind of money. Right. It's just – this right. is just on par with everything else. But, Chris, one guy who didn't get paid is a guy we've been talking about for uh, the forever. Saquon Barkley, <laughs> who is back in the fold. Uh, he, he got a new deal. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, do you want to go first? Because I'm I'm ready to go. You, well, I think you want to drop bombs. I'm gonna I'm, say I'm, this. I'll say this quickly, and okay. then you can drop your bombs. Uh, but basically, for though, I mean, most people, I guess, know his his franchise was 10.1 million. He signed a one year deal with them for 10. What is it? 10.3 or or I think it's actually the same 10.1. But with incentive, he gets two million dollars up front which he wasn't getting under the franchise tag. And then with incentives, which are going to be hard to get to. One, they got to make the playoffs. Two, he's got to rush for 1,350 yards, which is more than he's ever rushed in his career. Three, he's got to catch 65 passes, which is he's only done that or more one time in his five-year career. And four... Uh, he's got to score 11 touchdowns, which he's only done once, at least rushing uh, once in his five-year career. So uh, I don't know that the incentives are going to help him out. But here, here's the thing, Rob, and then I'll let you have at it. Um, I think that Saquon Barkley is a nice guy. I think he's a good – I mean, we all know his character is great. And I think he wanted to play this year. I don't think he wanted to sit out. I don't think he wanted to fake an injury, show up and fake an injury. 
I don't think he won. I, I don't think it'd be necessarily letting down his teammates, but I think he may have looked at it that way. Like, I, I don't want to leave my teammates out there to dry. And Rob, I think, I mean, because, you know, this deal isn't, it's, 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 all, it's essentially the same deal as the franchise. And it actually puts French, pushes his franchise tag back another year so they could actually do it again. But I, um, I think in his mind, it doesn't seem to be working. But he felt like, you know what, this might save me a little face and then I can just go do what I want to do, which is play football. And be there from day one. And that that's where I think he's that's what I think he did, Rob. Chris, you know, I'm always famous for giving people names, but I have a new name after this deal that came out today with the Giants. And let's just call Saquon all Barkley and no bite. <laughs> I mean, Chris, it's okay if you wanna play and you wanna take the terrible deal. And, and just, you, you know, but where's all the barking? Where's all the talk that went? And then Saquon Barkley, I mean, Saquon all Barkley and no bite, then <laughs> takes a contract, Chris, for 89 cents more than the Giants originally offered him. That's what it was. It's actually, no, it's less. Saquon. Than the original I, offers. I'll give you a change for a dollar. I mean, seriously. Are you serious, Chris? You made all of that stink and you caved? You caved. For what What was all that about then? And then, Chris, you didn't get anything. They gave you incentives that are unobtainable for the most part. $900,000, okay? Then they can franchise tag you next year. You, you right. just, what did you do? You didn't do anything, Chris. You came in with your hat in your hands and you bowed down. Giants front office people had a good laugh over in New Jersey. And they said, we ran this dude. This dude talked high and mighty. How are you going to sit out the season? And he came in on, uh, uh, on, on, on hands and knees, hat in hand, asking, it, well, can I come back and I'll be in the building and I'll take 89 cents uh, less than uh, you originally offered me and I'll be happy with it and I'm going to be a good teammate. And uh, and then to boot, why don't you give me some incentives that I can't reach so that I don't look as dumb or like I don't look crazy to my friends and family who I was fighting this fight. What was the Zoom call about? The money that you paid to sign up for Zoom, you could have saved. <laughs> what was that? It was a waste of Zoom money. It was a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. If I'm Josh Jacobs today, Chris, I block Saquon all Barkley and no bite. I block him. Do you not call me ever again about anything? <laughs> Very entertaining, Rob. Very funny. Good job. But look. It is what it is nowadays, man. And I Which know we, is, we talked about that. we talked about all the players sitting out. If all the running backs want to sit out, then you got something. But that's not realistic. They're not going to do it. And it just is what it is. And the position has been devalued. And Rob. And we all believe Saquon Barkley's great. You said it yesterday, 40% of their offense, right? What's Big that time. gotten them? What's that gotten them? Five wins, four wins, six wins, four wins. And last year, the greatest season, nine, seven, and one. So even with a great running back, they weren't squat. The position has been devalued. And there's nobody else on the market offering him more money and not going to be. And so it is, it is what it is. The game has changed. We are all, you and I grew up, Rob, when the running backs were the face of the league. They were the highest paid people in the league. But it's changed. And that's not the case. And they're like right guards, you know, or, or you know, something like that where they feel like, 
I can get that guy. He might not be quite as good as Saquon, but I can get close for a lot less money. So he's getting his $10 million. Hopefully he has a great year and maybe he can get more in the future. But it is what it is. But you're right. I don't think the Bart, right? I don't think he was, I think he was complaining publicly. Well, you know, but, but, but I think but he you, was lamenting. But, I, you, but you look you look worse, Chris, when you when you make the, all, all those comments and do all that, and then you don't even push it. You don't even, you you just show up and take what they offer you, and then to have I wouldn't even take the incentives if you're going to give me all incentives. I can't reach Chris. What what is the point of that? Seriously, it's, it is interesting that, 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 that they like, right. Like I, I would, mean, I wouldn't yeah. want no part of it. Just give me what you offer me originally. I'll just take that and bow down. And not in the end of it, don't embarrass me by by get putting incentives that I can't reach. And and then they can still tag him, Chris. What is the point of it? Yeah, I, like I said, I think he thought it might save him some face. Right, he wanted to play. He wants to, which play. is fine. That's right. fine. All I'm saying is. Keep your mouth shut. Let your agents do that behind the scenes so you don't no, have egg on your fair. face. How's that? That's fair because, the look, and, and Rob, the running backs are going to have to stop complaining. The time to do something will be in the new CB. I know that's a ways away. But they, they, they got to get the be, lawyers those guys won't even They be won't playing. be in the league. They no. won't even be in the league. They no, right. but they're just, their position is what it is at this point. And so they got to deal with it. So you're right. Unless you're going to do something, you can say, then just keep your mouth shut and get the best deal you can get unless you guys are going to actually do something about it. And so there it is.